<laughs> hey everybody! So a uh, quick recipe here for uh, winter broccoli, or I guess some people call it cauliflower. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna roast it in uh, my cast iron pan, of course. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, let's do this! Alright, the ingredients are pretty simple. A, uh, I guess one head of cauliflower, uh, some garlic, lots of garlic. Uh, I guess chopped up in rough, I guess, you know, bigger pieces, so it doesn't burn when you roast them. Uh, I got some cheese, you can use Parmesan or I'm going to be using uh, mozzarella. Put it on top afterwards. You can put it maybe at the end, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of uh, pressed for time, so I don't want to gum up my, um, my cast iron pan, I'm going to put it in the plate. Uh, some coarse salt. This is actually sea salt, so it's a, like a big, big piece of salt. Anyway, uh, roughly I have in there two peppers. Now put everything in the bag and you add, oof, yeah, you know, I know some people don't like oil. They think it's gonna make you fat. <laughs> but I think it's gonna make you jolly. Anyway, you need some oil in there. Uh, oh, almost put the, um, there you go. <laughs> the cheese in there. All right, a good pinch of salt. You know, you want stuff to taste something. There you go. Now I'm gonna try and open. <laughs> there you go, my bottle. With one, yeah. Let me just think. Yeah, maybe uh, what? A good few tablespoons of oil. Shake that up. Heat up your pan. You know, it doesn't have to go uh, 400 for a night, um, but you know, fairly high. And I'm gonna cook this at. Uh, Five and yeah, five fifty. All right, let me just uh, shake that up because I need both of my hands, and I'll be right back. All right, some of you may ask why a bag? Well, because it doesn't dirty up a bowl, and you can do this. <laughs> uh, you know, you can prepare this in advance. Just lay it in the uh, the uh, the fridge. All right, my pan is freaking hot. There you go. Roar. And of course, you know, make sure you don't hit the uh, the sides of the pan with the, uh, the plastic bag there. <laughs> there you go. Put back, put that bag in the oven. You could also add some onions in there. Maybe the onions you know, will be a little bit crunchier. Uh, but you know, for sure the peppers are gonna be crunchier than the uh, cauliflower. Anyway, buddy, they got. <laughs> so all right, put that in the oven. Uh, yeah, 450. You can even go 500 if you're feeling. Uh, a bit uh, freaky, you know, uh, for 20 minutes, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in 20 minutes. Oh man, the smell! It's been 20 minutes. Uh, I had to, um, you know, stir it from time to time, maybe uh, every four minutes or so. Uh, and I guess for my stove, 450 was a bit too high, so I lowered it to uh, 400 Fahrenheit. And man, maybe you'll have to. Uh, Take the battery off your uh, your uh, smoke detector there because this house is smelling good. Look at that beautiful cauliflower. <laughs> yeah, and it was pretty easy to find out if it's uh, cooked or not. Just take a fork and yep, it goes in pretty quickly. Uh, you know it's not gonna be um, as mushy as when you boiled it, of course. Um, it's gonna be crunchy. And it's not gonna taste a little, you know, the same. I'm gonna burn myself. Mmm. Tastes like roasted cauliflower. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> anyway, now serve that in a beautiful pan, a beautiful bowl. Ah, there you go. Sorry for the mess. Boop. That. Put yourself some. Uh, little cheese things on there this is gonna be freaking beautiful oh man isn't this gonna be great hey everybody hope oh. all right so I'm off to eat now <laughs> see ya guys <laughs>